Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In today's lesson, I wanna do high and skin retouching. We will also use the frequency separation in Photoshop. And if you're looking to learn Photoshop and take it to another level, I do have a Photoshop course on Skillshare. I will put a link to that in the description below. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to zoom in to create a duplicate. So click on your layer and then press Command J on your keyboard or Command J if you are on Windows. Now we're going to save the original image and we're going to click on our copy. I'm going to name this copy. So to make it easy for us to use the healing brush, we want to go ahead and add a black and white adjustment and increase our reds so this way we can see all the acne that pops and we are going to also go ahead and add um, a curves adjustment and we are just going to move this up so we can begin to see all the areas that we need to clean up now i'm going to pick up my healing brush tool you want to click to sample from current and below if you hold down your options once you release should be in color and not in black and white. So take note of that. And I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush head, holding my right bracket, pressing down my right bracket. I'm going to hold down options on my keyboard and I'm just going to sample and keep basically painting in like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for this area as well. I'm going to reduce my brush head. So you're basically sampling and you're patching. So notice that it picked up on the bra, eyebrow, so you can keep sampling to fill that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward. Now, another technique you can use is that you can pick up your patch tool so we can select the area that we want to replace like this and then move it into an area that is already clean command d to deselect so you see that it replaces it for you you can do the same thing here If I zoom out, you can see that this is how it looks. It doesn't look that good. But if I turn off my black and white, you begin to see that the skin is beginning to become uniform. Now I'm going to zoom back in. So with this set, the next thing we're going to do is that we want to get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these layers. I don't need them anymore. So you can go ahead and delete. So drag it to the trash can and it goes away. If you're enjoying this tutorial, give this video a thumbs up. So you can see that this is currently the before and this is the after. So to finish it off and to smoothen the skin, we are going to go ahead and apply a high and low frequency separation. So I'm going to make a copy of my final um, image. So Command J, make a copy, and I'm going to double click and name this low, low frequency. And I'm going to double click this and name this high. Now we're gonna click on the low frequency and we are going to add a gushing blur. So go to your filter and then go to blur and choose gushing blur. So now we wanna go ahead and blur the skin of our subject or smoothen it. So we are just going to click and drag our preview so we can see how the skin looks. Now, if we take it a little bit more to become too blur and we don't want that, we want something in between. Now you don't see it because the high pass layer is turned on. So now that is off, you can see how it looks. It looks very blur. So now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to infuse 
the low frequency and merge it with the high frequency. So I'm going to turn on my high frequency layer, click on that. Now we wanna go under image and you wanna click on apply image. We wanna click on the layer and choose the low frequency. Now you can see your subject. You wanna make sure your blend mode says subtract and you want your opacity to be at 100, scale to and your offset should be at 128. Make sure that your pre, your preserved transparency and your max are all checked off. Now, we are going to go ahead and click OK. And we want to change the blend mode here. So we are going to choose a linear light. So to finish off our skin retouch, you want to click on your low frequency go under your brush now when you go under your brush you basically have the default brush tool but notice that there is a mixture brush tool that's what you want you want to make sure that you have this brush with the stroke which says clean the brush after each stroke check tip so what photoshop will do is that anytime you basically brush over the next time you're going to brush over Photoshop will give you a clean brush. It's like you're painting and you don't want to mix your red and your green. So you wash it before you use it. It's the same concept. Now you want to leave custom and for your wet, you want to take it to maybe about a nine and your load, you want to keep it at 75. Your mixture, you want to keep it at 90 and your flow, we're going to take it to 100%. Now, make sure that you are on the low frequency layer. With your brush selected, you want to begin to brush over. You want to increase your brush head a little. And we are just going to do this. So we are just brushing over to make the skin a little bit soft. It begins to blend in the skin so it's much smoother. But notice that it's really not giving us a smooth skin, but it's making it a bit more um, rough. So you want to go back and click on your high pass and this is where you can add in some smoothness to your skin. So you have a bit of your texture as well as smoothing of your skin. If you just apply the high pass, if you just apply the low pass, you wouldn't get this nice effect. So I like to blend in both the high pass as well as the low pass and you can see that you get a very nice even tone you don't want sort of a plastic look you don't want that you want to have a natural look on your subject so if i do this is the before and now this is the after this looks amazing now we can obviously go ahead and clean off the strands if we don't want to see that so we need to obviously make one copy so hold down shift option command e make one file now we are going to use our patch tool i'm going to zoom in and let's see if we can clean this off and i'm just going to move this out and basically use that to clean off these little strands that we don't want to see i'm going to go ahead and do this as well and move this out command d d select now i'm going to zoom out and we're going to take care of this area as well and we're going to move this i'm going to do the same thing here and in this area now you can use whatever technique you want, but I'm just using this and I'm going to press command D and I'm going to zoom out. Now we can look at this so we can see how this entire thing looks like. So I'm going to hold down my option so we can see this is the before. Now this is the after. I love how it came out. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a like, a comment, Bye, y'all.